Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video series where we're going to work through a couple of examples of optimal stopping in economics. Uh, in this video, we're going to go and start with the classic tree cutting problem from Stokey Lucas. We're going to go and solve that. So this is going to be a quick one. Let's go. So suppose we have a lumberjack or a farmer who's trying to figure out when would be the best time to cut down his tree or, you know, harvest his crops to go and sell on the market. The Bellman equation for this problem, which we can appeal to directly, is that the value from this tree at time t is going to be equal to the maximum that of kt meaning that you go and you pick up uh that tree and or you go and you hold on to that tree meaning that you don't go and harvest it right away and it's going to be the discounted value in the next period um where beta is equal to one over one plus r and our kt plus one which is our tree size in period t plus one is going to be equal to one plus g times kt no, uh, usually this type of problem is coupled with a couple of existence conditions. In this video, I don't really care about that. We just want to go and derive the simple rule that we need. So the solution that we go and we have is that we need to note our point of indifference goes and occurs where KT, that is the tree size at time T, is going to be equal to the discounted value of the tree size at time T plus 1. Plugging in our values, right, that is going to be 1 over 1 plus R for beta and for our value of uh, kt plus one that's going to be equal one plus g times kt um and by our properties of our max function um we go and we could change this v term into just being the value inside it directly why could we go and, and do that because that value right if we're at our you know point of indifference is just going to be a lot smaller than what we go and we have here so this this is not going to to hold here now we get this clean result here and with a little bit of algebra just you know multiplying both sides by one plus r and minusing kt from both sides we get our condition being where our rate of return on the market is going to be equal to our growth rate of our tree this is when you should go and decide to cut down your tree now something should be noted in terms of extreme solutions if we have a case where our growth rate of our tree is going to be bigger than our rate of return on the market, then we'll end up with a situation where our consumer will never cut down the tree as an investment. And that's going to be really just an investment that goes and beats the market. Conversely, when we have a case where our discount rate or really one over one plus R here, right? Um, that is going to be greater than G here for all time. Then our consumer should cut down the tree uh, immediately that's going to be at time zero that tree is going to be picked up um, the equilibrium concept here is really relevant when we have our rate of return and market growth rates uh, parameterized by time so we think about them as a, a data generating process so um, i put them in here just as r and g so they're just they look invariant uh, in this case but if they are going and changing and if there's some curvature to them and if there's some regularity to them the solution concept here is really, really, really useful. Um, so I hope this goes and explains um, really just a, a simple problem. I mean, it's a little confusing um, when you first see it because you're working with this max operator uh, directly and you have like these value functions in there. Um, but it's just a matter of plugging and chugging and using the properties of your max function. In the next video, we're going to go and talk about uncertainty and incorporating uncertainty in this model and see what our solution concept goes and looks there. So I will see you guys in that video. Take care.